10 Tampa Bay Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins joins us now. And Bobby, we're keeping a close eye on that potential system in the tropics. Yeah, it's moving actually uh, to the west at nine miles per hour. So, but if you look at it, it's getting closer and closer. And look at this convection that's running out ahead of the center. It's almost to Nicaragua and Honduras at this particular point. That's the forecast track. I know it's a little confusing, but basically it hangs out here Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday. It comes back up to the north and the west. So by tomorrow lunchtime, we'll probably have Tropical Storm Sarah, S-A-R-A. -A. It's possible that it gets close to hurricane strength. They've got up to 70 mile per hour winds. Needs 74 or higher to get hurricane. But then it'll move over northeast Belize, over the Yucatan and Mexico, and it'll weaken here. So 65 mile per hour winds here should be less when it comes off. And then again, the question is what happens after that? So you can see the forecast models. A lot of them are down here and then you don't see a whole lot coming up here, and that's because most of them think it just weakens, maybe even falls apart. Here's what's steering it. This ridge of high pressure will get over top of it. It cannot go into that, and that's kind of why it stalls out a little bit there. But this is Monday. After that, this will continue to move. This will round on the backside, and then here comes this trough. It's a big front sitting here, and that's coming east no matter what, and that's just going to pick up whatever is left over, and that's what we're trying to figure out what's going to be left over. And I got to be honest with you, that's the hardest part of most of this. The warm colors you see here are extra heat in the water. It's heat potential, and that's good for storms. So we do expect it to try and strengthen a little bit. Green lines are the European model. White are the GFS model. Really good agreement all the way out through Sunday evening at 9 o'clock. Now let's take it out to Monday evening at 9 o'clock. There's the Euro, the GFS, same thing. Now watch what happens. That blue. That's less heat. It's cooler water. So the odds of it getting stronger and stronger over that water, at least pure tropically, are, are lower. And then eventually, look at that. Both of them bring it here by early in the morning on Wednesday and quick moving during Wednesday afternoon. We have this coming through. Now, there's the GFS, the European, about the same. Look at all this wind shear. This is what's picking it up. And in fact, if you look at just the cold fronts and rain, the green is rain. There we are Tuesday. There's the front. Here comes a weak system but actually probably trying to merge with the front and get a little bit more wind. The models right now saying 35, 45 mile per hour winds on Wednesday, and then it comes through by Wednesday afternoon and evening. We clear out and we've got really cool air on the backside of that.